So today we are going to create these procedural tiles and I was going for this kind of look and I think we are matching pretty well here. So let's just jump into it. Uh, we start a new scene, delete the cube. Uh, we just jump into rendered mode straight away and also have cycles enabled as your render engine world. We remove this one and we go completely black. Object, uh, let's add a plane. We need some lights in here. So we are going to press RX90 to rotate it and make a new material. And we will do an emission shader. And we will also add a black body. Emission into the surface and color into the color and the temperature is 5600 kelvins. And we will bump it up to 10. And we can move it to Y and we duplicate and move it a bit to the side and we take both and move them up. And now to the tiles, plane. Uh, let's scale it a little bit. Uh, S and yeah, something like that. And we get the lights here. It looks okay. So we keep it for now. And we scale it up. Uh, we need to add a new material. And let's get started with the tiles. So what kind of texture do we have here? We will use a brick texture. I think that's the e most easiest way to do this. And we will also do this placement to make the, this mortar go below the tiles themselves. What do we have to do now? We have to go into the settings and actually enable this placement because now it's only set to bump. So set this to displacement and bump. And now we got something like this. Now let's look at the displacement. Let's just put the color into the height here and we will have a look at how this looks in black and white. Uh, color too, we don't really need. So let's just set it to white. We want them to be level and I think that the, the, the workers that do this kind of job is pretty pretty good at it and can make them level. Uh, the mortar, the thing in between the tiles, we can have as completely black. Uh, first thing, we will make them even, so like that and also the offset to one for example. And we will also add a control T with the node wrangler add on installed. And so we got some, some mapping here. Wow. And now it blows it up. So we just scale it down maybe to one. Yeah. Looks okay. We can do whatever we want here. So it doesn't really matter. The mortar size, I think is a bit too big. So let's just maybe put it down to zero. 0.01, that's maybe a little bit too much, 0.5, yeah. This looks like something we can work with. And that's pretty much it. Let's go back and see how it looks like. Hmm. We are pretty far already. Now we want to add some noise to the mortar because now everything looks a little bit boring. So what will we do? We will have a color mix RGB in here and we also add a noise texture. Where are you? You are here and a color ramp to control it a bit more. Factory into the factor and color into color too. And now we get something like this. So let's just look at the noise texture first. We want it pretty rough and the detail, I don't know how much we will go. Like this, it's not too bad. Um, we want it to be pretty detailed. And we'll bump up the blacks a little bit. And I don't think that looks too shabby. Let's try something like that. And we go 
and look at the mix node here. What we want to do here is to actually use lighten. And there is a good reason for that because we want to keep the tile. It's been manufactured and kind of grinded and smoothed uh, and it should not have any bump, maybe a little bit bump, but we have this as perfect tiles. You can do, you can mix this up, but, uh, but I want to keep it like that. But if you use lighten, you will actually take the black mortar parts here and actually split them up a bit. So you can actually bump this up to one and then the tiles are completely white and the mortar is only affected. It's getting lighter and lighter. So you can actually control this here as you can see. So let's go back to this mode and yeah, I think that looks perfect actually. Uh, what else do we need? We need some roughness here. Now everything is the same, it's 0.5, so we will actually just put this one into the roughness. And what do we get now? We get shiny mortar and very, very rough tiles because these are set to one. So what we actually do here is pretty simple. We just invert the colors. We just flip it around and now we have shiny tiles or should have. Let's have a look at it. Yeah, all should be black. And how do we control color easily? We can put a color ramp in between and we can actually put the whites down. Yes. There we go, because it's inverted here. So now everything is completely black and this is very, very rough. And I think that's what we can go for here. Oh, sorry. And here we can see some reflections so that we know it's working. What else do we need? Color, you say? Yeah, that's correct. We need color. So let's just add a color ramp here as well. And what do we want to do? We want to have the brick texture actually, because the brick texture looks like this. So it's black and it's white. And that's pretty much what we want. So if we plug this into here and we go back to viewing the principal BSDF, we get something like this. And what does this look like? Yeah, white tiles and black mortar. I think the mortar is, and let's look at the reference. Yeah, the mortar is maybe not completely black, so just bump it up a little bit to a light dark gray, I mean. And we are back. Here we got some, um, some tiles.